Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Huzzy account again, uploading every single game that we play today. Playing Garen because he's just silly. There's a chance I should have just played Fiora. I'm against another Aatrox. I destroyed an Aatrox earlier as Fiora, but I got it in my mind to do another game of Garen. Unfortunately, we're on a three game loss streak. I didn't mean to click that. Um, but yeah, again, I'm uploading every game today because I'm low on content. So you would have seen how it's gone today. I think overall I've been playing fine. But yeah, we've had some unfortunate situations, but that is so lucky. The question that um, someone actually asked me before the game began, by the way, well, who's my favorite YouTuber? And I put that question to you guys. Who's your favorite? Again, if you want to say me, I uh, thank you very much, but you don't have to, like, obviously. Um, my favorite YouTuber, an early surrender has started. Huh? What just happened? But it was instant. I don't know. I think it's because the Cogmore DC'd. So it detected it. But then instantly, probably two people said no, or one person said no. So instantly, it's not a surrender. Who's my favorite YouTuber? Um. A few years ago, I would have 100, 100% said Jesse Cox. And obviously way back when, it would have been Total Biscuit. But I don't really watch Jesse as much anymore because he's kind of obviously moved into different things. Again, I, I have, was in chats with Jesse not long ago. And obviously, he sent me some signed things. I've got a thing signed in the office, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Because both Jesse Cox and Total Biscuit were massive inspirations to me to do this. If you didn't know. Um... Who would it be now? It wouldn't be a League one. I, again, when your life is League of Legends, you know, a lot of the time you don't want to be League of Legends 24-7 all the time. Judgment Day, 28 months tier one. Thank you so much, my dude. Who would I say? God, it's a good question. I would probably say now it's a channel called Auto Alex. I love cars. You guys know this. I'm a big fan of cars. And some people may be surprised. I commented on a YouTube video of his like, I don't know, six months ago. And a bunch of people were like, wait, I didn't expect you to be here. I think for some reason, some people think that like I'm only interested in really fancy posh cars. I'm really not. Um, Auto Alex is a, is a very awesome channel that it focuses more on the every car that I could go out and buy. You could go out and buy. That's the fun part. So they go buy stuff and they'll potentially do it up a little bit. And then they might take it to the Nürburgring. ring. It's very fun. Very fun. Um, he was with a bigger channel called Car Throttle, but he decided to go independent because he was just an employee of Car Throttle. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say it's Auto Alex. My my white, you... You're just staring at the air conditioning. What the hell? That was really weird. I looked over and she's sitting up in her bed staring at the air conditioning unit. My dog is weird. I love her to bits, but she is odd. Obviously, it makes perfect sense to be my dog. I would... I didn't get the normal model. I think Aatrox actually has advantage against um, Garen, annoyingly. Alright, I should regen a fair amount by the time I get there. So yeah, I'd probably say it's Auto Alex. I'd really recommend his channel if you like cars, and especially like if you just like, you know, I watch Hoovy's Garage and stuff like that, and it's like, they're cool, but I... I'll never afford a hundred thousand dollar Ferrari. Like it's out of my reach. But watching Auto Alex, like it puts the questions like, oh, maybe one day I'll get an E46 BMW. Like that's doable. I just think it's nicer content. First, you know. Ah, that actually was painful. Ugh. You think Aatrox is hella OP right now? 
I don't know if he's hella OP. He's always strong, but... I look like an Aston Martin guy. Again, I... There was a world that I was going to buy an Aston Martin. And I know people are going to go, Huzzy Posh. Not a new one, obviously. I can't afford a new one ever in my life. But when I got my Merc... If this is obviously a few years ago. I don't mind saying that that Merc was an expensive car. That, I got a discount on it, but that Merc was supposed to be, I think, about £42,000. I got it for about ten grand less. So I got it for about thirty-three, which is a big saving. It was brand new. I ordered it from the factory. Very good negotiating skills I have, apparently. Um, I basically said I'm not buying it unless. And they said, okay. So... Uh, in that world of when it a car's about I got it for about 33 that did bring in a different different sort of car obviously in the used market but that actually did bring in a Vanquish I think it was a 2008 Vanquish and it also brought it in uh, a Porsche and the, um, the yeah again yeah, no, basically a Boxster but the hard top Boxster I didn't want a convertible and I decided against them. We panicked. Oh, I didn't do enough. Bows. Why have those limitations? I can never afford that in my life. I'm never going to be able to afford, unless I win the lottery, a brand new crazy car. <laughs> like, again, where a lot of people go wrong in their life, to afford a, a brand new car at £100,000, you should be making a million a year. People don't do that because sometimes they're, like, like, you know, they're financially irresponsible. But that's what people don't understand. Like... You need to make a lot more, like, like a lot more. Because I've got friends that I've got, you know, those level of cars. They don't make that amount of money and their car payment is completely suffocating them. But don't worry, they've got, you know, an Aston Martin on the driveway and it's like, ain't worth it. Not worth it. Hmm. And Lee Sin is doing well, but he can't exactly carry. What do you think about Graves' jungle top? He's a really cool champion. I never can make him work. I don't think he's good top. I think he's pretty good in jungle. But whenever I have jungled with him, I suffer. I, like, I struggle, and I know I do. Wait, is this Aatrox buying Hullbreaker? What? Oh, it's a Hullbreaker ingredients. I think he's buying Hullbreaker or an Aatrox. Hullbreaker isn't even an Aatrox item. How peculiar. Hullbreaker soup, yeah. Do I buy Hullbreaker first now? Maybe. Enemy rampage. Oh god. This game is quite a big jungle diff so far. Five five kill Lee Sin with six overall thingies. Aatrox, buddy. What are you doing? Shouldn't have done that. Even without Graves, like, he was maybe dead just with me doing that. That's a bad mistake by him. He shouldn't ever, like give me any chance to get back into the game now that he's got the early lead. That gets me back in the game. I would like one plate, but at the same time, I know the Graves would probably murder me if Leeson comes over here and takes the Rift Herald away from him, so... Let's help him out. Well, I know, like, um, a very well-known thing. Is it Dubai? No, he's not. Oh, wait, what? 
a very well-known thing. I think it's either Dubai or Saudi Arabia or something like that. If you go to the airport in those countries, there will be insane supercars just left. Just completely left. Dust everywhere, dirty, clean, not touched for over a year. Why? So if you've gone out to those countries and you're doing business that's going well, yeah, you might buy yourself a supercar. But the moment it's gone bad, obviously you might not be able to afford the supercar anymore. So you want to give it back. The problem is in those countries, if I'm not mistaken, I've heard this obviously a few times from different sources. It's against the law to break a financial agreement there. So it's not like, oh, you get a slap on the wrist, you get a fine, whatever. It's against the law. You'll go to jail if you renege on a finance contract or something like that. So what people do... They book a ticket to go home. So they'll drive their supercar to the airport, go home, and just leave and never come back. So, and then what happens? Why does Dubai's police, like, have the best supercar in the world as all their stuff? They're all repossessed cars from the airport. All their Audi R8s and Lamborghinis. Yeah, they they didn't buy them. The police force didn't buy them. They just went to the airport, looked at a really dusty Audi R8 and go, we'll have that. That's what they do. It's smart. It's really smart. Why did Aatrox go mid? I don't know. Now Nico's coming top. She's only got 57 farm. What the hell have you been doing? They're lane swapping them. I mean, I don't think that means that we can go to Dubai and just take a car. I don't think that's truly how it works. Get out of my lane. Come back, Aatrox. Come back. Come, 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 come. Get a towel plate before. Interactive. I mean, why is a really weak Nico in my lane, though? She's like, she's close to being doubled in farm. Why is she coming top lane? I don't know. Maybe they thought she'd be safe? So when should you press the W of Garen, by the way? Like, when do you actually... Because it gives tenacity and stuff, right? When should you press it? Before, when, like, at the beginning of combat? During combat? And I think we outscale the enemy team, especially if Lee Sin's taking all the kills. Oh yeah, maybe is this Nico? I'm gonna say, is she a one trick like cat? No, she's a main, like a big talon main. So that's why she's being doubled in farm and more wanting to roam. Eh? Okay. Interesting. Aatrox ulti. Dude, we're just getting destroyed. Is it? Every video is being uploaded. So you guys will see this. GTP'd. 30% damage reduction is a bigger deal than the tenacity. Oh. Oh no, it's happened again. I didn't know that was a thing. Did we let Maya on the on the couch? Yeah. When we got the dog behaviorist in quite a long time ago, like, he was a, a bit like, oh, you let her on the couch? It's like, yeah, like, She's a family dog, right? Like, we don't want her to be, you know, she's a family member. We don't want her to feel anything apart from a family member. Like, I don't want her to feel lesser. Like, she's she's at the bottom of the pack, but she's in our pack. And I don't know, like, she's part of the family. So I wouldn't want her to not be on the sofa for cuddles and all that. It just makes me happy. 
But this Nico truly, truly, truly does not care about farm. That was an Oriana ult, completely missed. Oh damn. I didn't Oh Thresh is now here. Like what the hell? What's really bad, I just noticed our Cogmore is 50 farm down as well. To be fair, like again, Nico's never been mid, so maybe they've just been too like getting ganked constantly this whole game. Now Nico's even like this Nico's insane. She is playing exactly like a Katarina would. But Cogmore isn't strong, he hasn't got an item. What is going on with solo queue at the moment? Holy moly. I'm going to be completely honest just with everyone, like how I'm feeling. I think next week I might just go back on the Admiral Banner account. Like the Huzzy account truly, truly, truly feels terrible. Like I can't explain it, but it just feels bad. It just feels pointless most of the time. It really does. Which sucks, but yeah. It's Nico, like how? What? Oh wow, Aatrox is there. What an insane player! God, they're so bad. Auto attack. Like, why is Aatrox grouped right now? There's no dragon or anything? I don't... I genuinely understand this game sometimes. I don't know, man. Oh, uh, they're just getting destroyed. Come on. Why not sell Dorans for Stingy? Dorans is really strong right now, so you do not want to sell that in anywhere near the early game. It's really strong. At least the Nico keeps feeding me gold. rely on the Nico as a gold income stream. I did see Aatrox around, so I'm like worried that he's like really chasing. Thinking I'm basing lazily. He's over there. This Aatrox just wants to get involved like in the actual like proper game, doesn't he? He doesn't want anything to like be without him. Which is very weird for a top laner. Very weird. Oh, oh, oh. I will have a look later. Good lightning. Now sight so out play, thank you. Yes, Garen is very stupid. I think that um, I'm hoping the thing that's refreshing to some people is I I'm playing Garen, but I'm fully aware how dumb an OP it is. I think a lot of people when they play dumb OP stuff, they don't ever want to admit it's dumb OP because that makes their skill seem less but i'm being very open with like no garen is just silly right now he really really is uh, too many people top lane all the time we got dragon <clears throat> so i'm hoping some people find it refreshing of you know it's someone that's playing an op thing but fully saying it's stupid I don't know, like, when he took tower aggro there, was there a chance that I could have turned and maybe got the kill? I think I was always going to die, but maybe if I did enough damage and stride breaker slowed, maybe there was a chance that he died there as well. Maybe. Yeah, 06, 02, 1513. I'm 33, neutral KD. Everybody on my team's negative. Yeah. 
Nice. That Aatrox is not watching. He this Aatrox just really wants to be involved. It's so bizarre for a modern top laner. Modern top laners don't get involved. This guy really wants to. Odd. It's actually quite refreshing to see. Like, he wants to be involved with his team. I kind of respect it. Alright, that gives my team a bit of gold. Lisa's very fed. He's also very squishy. Wow. You thought Graves altered the wrong way? <sighs> it's Nico. They just the enemy team is just always about. They're always like completely grouped. And it's one of those sol weird solo queue games and it doesn't feel like a solo queue game. It feels like you're against a flex team or something. Yeah, I'm sure we've all had those moments. So you're like, are these really five solo players? They're always grouped. They're always coordinated. And it's like, apparently so. It's just a different play style. Enemy team, the thing that they are prioritizing more than anything is being together. And if that's all you mainly care about, it works. Dude, go away. I need gold. No. Uh, 300 gold away from Hullbreaker. Like, I, I think our genuine... Again, Lee Sin falls off. He's taken 11 kills, which is a bit weird. Our only chance, I'd say, of winning is hopefully Lee truly does fall off. And then I can destroy on side lane with Hullbreaker or something. I don't know. I think that's our only big chance of winning. And obviously, wait for Cogmore to hyperscale. But his positioning seems really poor. Again, he had flash, but he let himself get caught. He should have looked to flash and stuff before, not after he's already been hit. So it's basically being proactive instead of reactive. He should have proactively flashed <coughs> before Leeson hit his Q instead of reacting. Oh God, he hit me. Now I'll flash. It's just a difference in play. I have to be here. I really don't want to be here. And I don't want to die. Let's go, dude. Okay, maybe I should have grouped. <laughs> Damn. That was good. So Nico will be hiding probably in here as a minion, if I had to call it. Oh, well, maybe not. That was a two big shutdowns. I don't know who got both of them. Oriana got both. Okay. Oh, you better carry now, Oriana. And you know, roll. We. Yeah, we're gonna lose another dragon probably. Da 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 da. They do no damage. out pull it out uh, and that's what you get when you don't pull out dun, 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 dun. really stupid by graves now better be safe than sorry
Otherwise, you end up with something screaming that you might not have wanted at that point in life. Oh, my sinuses. I'm actually really strong. Okay, now is he buying a hole breaker? My team are getting caught, caught, caught. Razor's on a rampage, huh? Nice. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Oh, hello. All right, where's Hoisin? Only seen. Here you go. Come here, baby. And you know, roll. That was really good stopping him because that should give us the inhib. Leeson's falling off. Again, he will still do damage, but he wasn't even in the last fight. Oh, look, Graves is murdering him now. It's why you don't take all the kills. This Lee Sin genuinely had opportunities to give teammates kills. He took them all. It's why you don't take all the kills when you don't scale. It's to, you lose your team the game. Boom! We're gonna win. We not end. Wait, what? Bye. Show love. Hey, well. Run away. Again, it's honestly, this isn't even a lesson about Garen anymore. This is a lesson more. Don't take all the kills if you're playing something that falls off. If, if a Felios had all those kills, Jesus would be in problem. But at the same rate, maybe don't have a Nico that's nearly 100 farm down as well. That would probably also be fairly important. Oh. We screwed with that Lee Sin a lot. Bye. Bye now. Where's the lease in? <laughs> He's going to go around this way. Where'd he go? Lee in! I'm your number one fan. I just want a hug. I lied. <laughs> it's a me, a Z. You know, I am thinking I might be able to get away with one more solo queue game after this. Maya is literally in her bed there sleeping. She only generally was sleeping here when she's really tired, so... I don't know. Pull it out this time. Come on. Pull it out. Pull it out. He's not pulling out again. Oh my god, he nearly he, he nearly lost it again. Java boy, 37 months tier 1. Hope you're doing good, buddy.
did my job. Am I going RFC? Maybe. <laughs> I wonder if this Lee Sin has realized his mistake of taking all the kills. Look at my spin! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is so stupidly overpowered. What the hell? I leave now. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, it. What are you doing? Oh, you wimp. You're the one that wanted a fight. Oh, I'm raged, Garen! Look at that, look at that auto range there. Dude. Oh, oh. I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got I don't got him. I just realized they've all gone in the lane that I wanted to be in. Mm. Hey, well, the doctor. Look at my base movement speed is 478. I don't want to die. Hey, hey. I want to live forever. I want to learn how to fly. <laughs> Look at that auto attacks. Move over AD carry. So silly. <laughs> I, I'll say I genuinely am enjoying myself because of how stupid this is. Everyone say goodbye to Lucian. Oh, say hello to Lucian. Say goodbye to Garen. I'm dead. That was more people than I actually expected. I'm in their base, so maybe I should have expected all of them. But did I say Lucian? I meant Aphelios. Why did I say Lucian? I don't know. I've gone nuts. I mean, that, they're going for get a kill on anyone, we get priority, which is fair enough. It's a very good thing. Does that give them Infernal Soul? Oh, it does give them Chem Soul, sorry. That is that is good for them. Give me freedom, give me fire. <laughs> My dinosaurs are so full. I might need to go take another antihistamine. I did take one this morning, but let me have Baron. Let me have Baron. Let me have Baron. Let me have Baron, please. Thank you. You're going to kill it now. 
It's so important to give Garen Baron with Holebreaker. Don't like how this sword looks with this skin, I must say. Nico has still not hit 200 farm. So he's doing red, the Aphelios. I can't be too near the Biddy Wave because it gives away that I'm here. Yeah. Maybe I actually would have been better off without Baron. Because then it wouldn't have let them know that I'm here. <coughs> he can hardly kill the minions. Oh, that's bad. They didn't go for that? Oh. Really? That was a hook on our Oriana. <laughs> GG's! We did it! We won a game that the enemy team was stomping my whole team. I was doing okay on top. But remember, like, every single one of my teammates had negative KDs at one stage. And, and I genuinely think it's because Lee Sin fell off. And he's always going to. And that's fine, because Lee Sin can be a utility carry later. That's the strength of Lee Sin. Very strong early. Turns into a utility carry. Kick the right thing. Amazing. But the problem, Lee Sin took all the kills. He, for them to win, they needed to win early and they just ran out of time because Lee Sin took the kills. If you gave most of those kills to uh, Aphelios, they would have had the hyper carry earlier and they probably could have pushed to win. But Lee Sin had all the gold. Oi, oi, oi. Good win. Good win. So we went 9 4 10. I think <laughs> Garen is so dumb. Most damage in the game as a pure melee champion. I actually say that I had RFC, so I was partially ranged. But I nearly hit 40,000 damage. More damage than my Graves. More damage than the Oriana. More damage, obviously, no one on the enemy team even hit into the 30,000 damage. All four of us did. Like, that's a big difference. But, like, oh my god. Garen needs to be nerfed. Like, the hull breaker nerf basically did nothing. And then Garen individually is also really strong, too. His, his ult does way too much damage. His build is naturally really strong. It's just silly. This It needs to be nerfed. We got honoured by the Oriana and the Graves. So yeah, I, I'm really happy. Really happy that we win this game, but I did not expect it. If you guys enjoyed an absolute insane comeback, please do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cool down.